We got a second box. Snake's Rain. Let's get on with the second box, shall we? We're gonna just power through this. Actually, let me take out the, the packs. I'm gonna use this box for like keeping all the wrappers inside, like I did with the other one. Okay, so one display. All right, we got another uh, Flogos. Uh, okay, we've got another this guy, Venominaga, Stuff Cord Scale, Mega Billis, Ares Rock, and the Earth's Arctic Mick Billis. Cool. Powering through. So, we have, most of these cards we've already seen. So, we don't have to, I don't have to keep reading these effects for you guys. So. But most of these cards are pretty new or old. Offering to the Snake Deity. Pancratops, Snake DD again, Sulfur Chord Musica, Zoha, Quint Charge, and another Water Lily. Okay. Not bad. If I pull another Starlight Rare, not Starlight, um, Collector's Rare, then, then that means the value of uh, Collector's Rares have pretty much gone down. It means they've increased the, the the chances of getting collector's rare, but we'll have to see. All right, damage equals reptile, luster pendulum, origin mega polar snake deity, sulfur core dreamia. Oh, okay, and then we got a do sulfur core cutia once again. She's she is indeed cute. Okay. Another Dreamia once again. Flogos. Paw of Riches. Ayers Rock Sunrise. Sulfur Cord Scale. Evil Dragon Ananta. Oh, okay. This is new. So this is the T Sulfur Cord. Butia. She, she is indeed beautiful. So Pendulum Effect. You can activate a spell trap or monster effect when your Sulfur Cord Pendulum Monsters are e Pendulum Summoned. Quick Effect. You can target one effect monster your opponent controls, or if you have a pendulum scale in your monsters in your okay pendulum scale in your pendulum zone, you can target one spell or trap your opponent controls in this turn. Banish it while it, when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of T Sulfur Core Butia once per turn, and once per turn, once again, at the start of the damage step, if this card battles a monster with an equal or higher attack than the lowest pendulum monster in your pendulum zone times 300, destroy that monster. Okay, cool. So here's another ultra rare. We're filling out the musical skill, guys. And here we are, another ultra rare, T Sulfur Core Butia. Love that hollow. Trade in. Okay. Quint Charge, Vipers Rebirth, Snake Rain. Ignister Prominence, Soul Cord Formal. Oh! Guys, I think, I think my night. This is my night, guys. This is the. This is my. Uh, <laughs> this is my night. Okay, so, out of I think in this entire set, the Sulfur Cord cards are pretty cool, just because they're anime girls. <laughs> but I got the collector's rare version of Dull Sulfur Cord Coolia. And I gotta say, that hollow is pretty sick on Sulfur Cord Coolia. Cause especially on her on her dress, if that's what if that's what you want to call it. Like the hollow is outlines. And you can tell like all the, the, the detail on the, the picture here. Yeah, so I got two collector's rares right now. This is insane. This is insane. I like I d I don't know. What is going on? Or if they lowered the, the chances of, of collector's rares in this set in particular. But 
I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I, I'm, uh, I'm... Especially after not pulling a ghost rare from Ghost in the Past. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Is that one pretty high on the collector's list? Okay, so... In reference for... I'm taking a look at the price guide on TCG Player. So, on the list, Silver Cord... Coolia. Ah! She is fourth in the price guide. So, so for Coolia is $97. So yeah, she's probably, she's pretty high up there. She's also the poster child for the, the, the Silver Cord set. I don't know, the Ancient Guardians. She's on the, she's on the pack art. So, um, I'm honestly, if I were to chase this entire set for collector's rares, I'm, you know, I'm done. Because silver, the silver core cards are actually very pretty. All right. But, yeah, we've got, we got like three quarters of the box left. So let's keep going. I, I'm, I'm satisfied with this set. I, I'm, so my, my goal right now is to just finish the, the scale from... Do, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. And then we already have two do. So let's see what we can get next in one more box. So air is about rock sunrise. Damage, reptile, luster, pendulum. Augurated origin, or second, megapolar, offering to the snake deity. And another McBillis super rare. Cool, cool, cool. Honestly, I feel like I feel like a real, like I feel I feel like a real Yu-Gi-Oh um, content creator now. Now that I have pulled some collector's rares for my own, you know. No matter what their value, feels good. Okay, Luster Pendulum, Origin, or right, Majestic Paladin, Me Soulful Cord, Elitia. We have plenty of those. Quint Charge, Zoha, and Nayu Nauya, super rare. Okay, moving on. Okay, Dreamia once again. Trade in. Ursetta Quint Charge. Viper's Rebirth. Snake Rain. Prominence. Okay, Coolio once again. I'm. This is just a regular Ultra Rare, but I am not sad. Dig it. I dig it. I, I'll have as many Coolios as I want here. And they're all gonna be next to each other in a binder. Pod Riches, Formal, Megatanis, Ignite Reload, Venom Minion, Ogdoetic Hollow, and Ursaic Departure Super Rare. Cool, cool. Okay. All right. The Formal. Augurated Calling. I believe I have this part Yes. Wavering Eyes. Elitia once again. Feral Imps. Ananta and Mectanus. So super rare. Okay. Moving on. We have Viper's Rebirth. Musica. Skull Maester. This is the regular Skull Maester. Rise of the Snake Deity. Light Serpent. Pancratops and Sulfur Cord Harmonia. Ultra Super Rare. Cool. So, yeah, I only have two two collectors rare so far. Don't freak out. I almost thought I, th I thought I had three for moments for some reason. Okay. Miniminion. Vipers Rebirth. Megatanis. Okay, Light Serpent, Ignite Reload, Ogdewitic, Caruse, I believe I have a Caruse already, Ogdewitic Light, super rare, cool. Alright, Promence, Vim Viminaga, Hollow, Trade In, Sunrise, Ananta, and another McTannis. I'm gonna have to go to my local game shop to uh, get rid of these duplicates.
So what I usually do is that uh, I keep at least three of each of each card because you know that's how the game works. You can have up to three of the same card in a deck, unless there's limitations. Light Serpent and Alarit, uh, Great Dark. For the, with the exception of uh, Collector's Rares, I'm going to keep one, at least one Collector's Rares plus the three. So, because you know, that's how I am. Okay, another Dreamia. Silver Cord Scale. Equals Reptile. Wavering Eyes. Mega Polar. Offering Ursetic Slider for Super Rare. Pancratops, Flogga, Flogga, Venomanaga, Scale, Megabilis, Silvercord, Angelia, super, super rare, cool. She's also kind of cute. Okay, moving on. Prominence, Megabilis once again, King of Feral Imps. Draco Slayer, Snake Rain, Calling, and another. Okay, we got a Ursetic Mick Polar. I'm not sure if this, I've gotten this one already. I think I did. I think I did. We're, we're gonna, I'm going to have to look through it all. Okay. Hang on. Okay, Boundless. Potter Riches, Formal, Megatanus, Ignite Reload, Venominion, and another Ogdewated King. The regular, ultra rare, by the way. So, not bad. Okay, so we have two of those already. Moving on. Okay, Ananta, Dreamia, hello, self Guard Scale, Reptile, Wavering Eyes, Megapolar, and QTO once again. Okay, Skull Maester, regular Skull Maester, Mini Minion, Ears Rock Sunrise. Feral Imps, Silver Cord Musica, Trade In, and Angelia. Hello again. Okay. Another offering. Prominence, Megabilis, Feral Imps, Dragon Slayer, Snake Rain, Silver Cord Elegance. We have one of those. Not bad though. Seeing that I have most of this uh, Soulful Chord set already, I'm, I might actually want to like try it out in, like, in a deck or something, but I'm, I'm going to have to relearn how pendulums work. Because <laughs> it, it confuses the heck out of me. Okay, Alicia. Snake Rain, Light Serpent, Flogos, Zoa, Soulful Chord Formal, and... Okay, another Naoya. Wrapping things up. Okay. Ogdoidic Calling. Muster Pendulum. Origin. Paladin. Letia once again. Quint Charge and another Water Lily. All right, guys. Here you go. Ending it off on the last pack. And of course, on the front, we do have uh, Coolia. I actually love this art, really. Uh, just an anime girl with a little cutie version of herself there. Last pack magic, guys. Here we go. I'm gonna take it slow. Okay. Pot of Riches. Ersetic Megatanis. Dino Wrestler Pancratops. Okay, Magister Paladin. Rise of the Snake Deity. Ignite Reload. 
All right, and we have Nunu the Ogdoidic Remnant as our super rare. So we already pulled the collector's rare out of this box. So we have Sof the whole Sofa Corculia as our collector's rare. Actually, my favorite out of the two that I have. And Aaron the Ogdoidic King. Not bad. We and for two boxes, we could have stopped opening packs at the collector's rare pull. True, but you know. Just to finish things out, right? So we did pull the poster child for the Ogdoidic monsters. We have the um, Ogdo Abyss, Ogdoidic Overlord, Ultra Rare. It's no, so we don't, we didn't get the um, Skull Maester Collector's Rare, who is valued at one hundred fifty nine dollars. I believe Skull Maester isn't isn't a re, he's a reprint, but uh, he is the most valuable when it comes to. Uh, the collector's race cards. So we did okay. So we have two Aarons and two Coolias. Okay, I'll put Ogdo Abyss in the front here and one Butia. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we managed to pull six Ultra Rares out of two boxes. Okay, cool. And obviously, in every pack that isn't an Ultra or a Collector's. Um, you'll have your own ultra rare, so I'm not gonna count these, right? We have a ton of these, and uh, obviously all the duplicate rares, and obviously no commons in this set. So I think there is a pretty good chance of getting a collector's rare. Um, for me, I believe I got really lucky. I got really lucky. I think I got really lucky for um, oh opening two boxes and getting one collector's rare in each so i'm i'm not i'm gonna take a wild guess maybe not a wild guess maybe an educated guess that um and maybe uh i'll say one out of three because i'm saying i got really lucky one out of three chance to get a collector's rare i, I don't know because 15 of these cards are already collector's rare out of a so 15 cards plus the 60 so there's 75 cards do the math i think that's a pretty good chance of getting a collector's rare out of, out of a set of 60. so um if you want to go go for the collecting in, in ancient guardians go for it i think it's a good chance for you guys it's better than what i've tried for ghost of the past it's better than rage of raw for getting that ghost rare uh, um that like Ghost Rare uh, Ring Dragon Raw or the alternate art Ring Dragon Raw, it's so much better than those. So if you're new to Yu-Gi-Oh, I will believe this would be the set for you in terms of collecting. Um, if you are if you are playing Yu-Gi-Oh and you want to get cards, um, this might be a new set that you might be interested in, especially if you play Pendulums or. Uh, or reptiles in particular reptiles the new reptile Ogdoidic set it's, it's, it looks fun it looks interesting um and the negative synchro summoning quote unquote for the uh for the the polars the polar bear cards it looks kind of cool but i feel like they're trying a bit too hard to make a new gimmick right to synchro summoning what do I know though? But uh, yeah, I actually had a lot of fun opening the um, the uh, the set. So, but now here we are. I had to clean up. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna be putting this on YouTube. So if you guys are watching on the YouTube video, thank you guys so much for joining me on this amazing set of uh, Ancient Guardians. Go grab one for yourself if you wanna check it out. And uh, if you liked the video or if you're watching on stream, please be sure to hit me up, hit me up and follow on Twitch uh, and subscribe on YouTube. I can like and comment down below if you're interested in uh, if you like the video and if you have anything to say about the video or if you have any questions, feel free to shoot at shoot it at me. Um, also, for social medias, I have a Twitter and an Instagram and I also post Pokemon openings on TikTok. I'm working on the Pokemon battle styles booster box right booster box right now so if you're interested in looking at that oh i i do two three posts a week on tiktok so go ahead and check that out if you're just interested but anyways thank you guys so much for watching 
And uh, looks like I might be, I'm, maybe I'll do a little bit of gaming after.